Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I'm still wearing House on Haunted Chill, which I've been wearing for about three or four days. Uh, yeah, this is tip wear apparently, this thing called tip wear that I've never, don't really experience, but um, fantastic polish. So today I'm going to do a comparison, um, just out of interest really. Remember I did my seafoam greens and we had a look at Barry M Sugar Apple and I was saying that I couldn't find a dupe. Now that was a couple of years ago that I was looking for a dupe for somebody over in the US. She did have Sugar Apple but she wanted to know if the, she could get a backup of anything that was similar to this. Um, and I thought, yeah, it's a shade that's dupable, surely, but I, I had real problems with it. Now, a couple of people have said um, a few suggestions. So here's Fiverr. I've only got the Mini, and this is um, Butter London Fiverr. I think it might have been Bex who was asking, is it similar? And as you can see, there's much more blue in, and it's much brighter, Sugar Apple. And then Heather D, who's my like, to, in my mind, she's like my Zoya expert. I know if I needed to know anything about Zoya polishes, I could ask Heather. I'll link Heather's channel down below. Go and check it out. She does like cruelty free um, Zoya and in, uh, indie polishes. Um, but she mentioned Zoya Lillian, which is one of the very few Zoyas that I have that I've actually de-stashed. Um, so this is pulled out of my de-stash pile and as you can see it's they are close they are very close actually you've got a good eye for this heather but i still think that sugar apple is a little bit brighter so let's take a look and while we're at it i did pull out mint candy apple um because somebody had mentioned in my seafoam green comparison video why didn't I include mint candy apple and although you could say that it's a seafoam green you know they cross different categories for me this is more of a mint pastel so it will be featuring in um, in other videos as I'm de-stashing but that's why it's not in the seafoam green but let's do a comparison so here's the four and I've got four spaces here on this swatch wheel so let's start with what I think is probably the least is Fiverr. So this is probably the least comparable. This is one of the um, Butter London Minis that I am keeping. Although swatching it here I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> but it is a, it's a lovely shade. So that's Butter London Fiverr. Then uh, here's Mint Candy Apple. I haven't worn this polish for a while, so I'm definitely going to be busting this out in the spring. It's just a very classic spring shade. So considerably darker. And then let's go with the Sugar Apple. Um, and there's just... Um, really struggling to find an exact dupe for this and it is one of those shades where you would think no there's definitely a dupe out there but I'm struggling to find one that's like exact um but let's have a look at Lillian so as you can see they are all very slightly different and there's a brightness to sugar apple so let's see what Lillian does I think this is going to be a little bit more blue. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely the closest. Definitely. They are very close. Um are they exact dupes? What do you think? To my eye, Cover this one up here, these two. Sugar Apple is still a little bit brighter. So this is Sugar Apple here. I'm getting nail polish on the back of my hand. 
but in certain lights they are very very close so definitely I would say that those are the closest but let me do a second coat and we'll see if that changes anything okay so here is the second coat on everything and definitely Lillian is the closest but there seems to be a dash more grey like a little drop of grey whereas sugar apple just has this brightness so the mystery is still unsolved although I think at the moment the closest contender you know as per Heather's suggestion is um, is Lillian by Zoya but just have a look at sugar apple there if anyone can think of Something that might be close, because I feel like this is a mystery that needs to be solved. This just seems like such a dupable shade, but I'm really struggling to find something that's that's an exact dupe. Okay, thanks very much for all your help in this investigation. We shall carry on. Uh, we'll keep the case open. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye.